Okay, we are back here on 99 Pod. It's not 1999 anymore podcast, and believe it's not because nobody's doing what Mike Evans is doing right now. I mean, my guy done, done, done it again. Okay, 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards again. He accomplished the streak. Now, the question that we have for everybody here on the show and all the listeners around the world is Buccaneers, Mike Evans, the most underappreciated species at the wide receiver position in the NFL. And um, anybody, um, Zay, you want to start us off? Oh, you know, mm, don't want to die on this hill. I don't think Mike Evans is the most underappreciated. You know, I, I don't I don't believe he is. You know, I think he dug himself in a hole where he's actually underachieving. You know, this is a receiver mm. who's actually shown his talents as a receiver. He should be, if not the number one receiver in football. When you have the number one quarterback, when your talents, when you're as talented as you are, six five with that speed, with the foot speed, be able to create separation. There should be no reason why guys are not comparing him to Devontae Adams, to D Hop. There's no reason why it's not happening. But this guy, on a constant basis, year to year, he'd rather it's a bad hamstring injury or the man drops the football. It's it's, it's <laughs> it ceases to amaze me. He's the wide receiver version of Kirk Cousins. You know the you know with all the numbers. The numbers look amazing. Oh, what? Kirk Cousins top five in QBR. Kirk Cousins touchdowns this yards. It's like all of that looks great, but for whatever reason, you're doing some boneheaded plays when you should be at the top of the list. You should be number one. And I like Mike Evans. I think he's a solid player. But Lil pointed out to me before the man has a tendency to drop the football. I'm about to call him Mike Drops. Because the man constantly drops the football. It doesn't make any sense. It's just that. He has the footwork. He has the foot speed. He gets past defenders. He he, he got blow past the zone. He gets go up on double team. He does all of the intangibles well except catch the football. <laughs> What's the little Giants guy named Hands? What, like, what, like, we got to get the glue? Like, it doesn't make sense. It just baffles me. Tom Brady should have had a couple more touchdowns this season if Mike Evans didn't drop the football. And we're, and we're, not, being, we're not being shrewd. We're, it being the truth. It's just, it's, you know, to say he's underappreciated is a disservice because we're not acknowledging the stuff he does wrong. We understand he has talent. We understand he's a great receiver. You're not telling me there's five to ten receivers better than Mike Evans off the skill set alone. There's not. You look at Mike Evans. He has all the intangibles. He has the height, the speed, everything. So what's missing? Oh, the catches. That's what's missing. The receptions. And that's the biggest issue. You know, um... I wanted to save that take for 99 cents, but I have something else in store for y'all. But, yeah, Mike Evans to me is yep. actually not underappreciated. I feel like at this point he's getting a tad overrated for how much stuff he gets in the news. That's how mm-hmm. I feel. Yo, I, mean, I got to jump in there, man. I got to jump in there, Cuzzo. Please. I mean, you can't torture me like that, Cuzzo. Let me, let me get this right. Real go ahead, quick. Go I'm ahead. Make this short. I'm make, <laughs> I'll make this short. Because he talked about take for 99 cents. You should give that take for free because it's garbage. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, Zay, you, you a lucky individual because my dad got on me. He watched the show a lot. All right, he be coaching me up. He got on me for interrupting people while they in their laps. Okay, so I had to take that, you know, take that advice. So I let you say a little piece there, but I was ten seconds away from interrupting you and stopping you in your tracks where you lie, my brother, because you lying. Anyway, um, you talk about Skip Bayless. Okay, you want to talk about Skip Bayless? You just went Skip Bayless on that take. Anyway, yes, he is the most underrated, or should I say, underappreciated, right? Because there's a difference in the word. Underrated and underappreciated is two different things. You appreciate accolades. That doesn't make you the most underrated wide receiver, right? But you can argue he's both. Who knows? Anyway, he's the most underappreciated receiver in the league. And as far as I'm concerned, you can make a case for most underrated. You know, there's a key word here that I want to use. Consistency. That's the key word. When you nine straight, 1,000 yard receiving, when you do that, it shows consistency. I don't care if you can jump the highest. I don't care if you can catch with one hand, with gloves on. I don't care if you can run the yak, yards after catch, speed. I don't care if you have Tyreek Hill speed. How about you be consistent for my football team? How could you be? How about you be consistent for my quarterback? Okay, or quarterbacks, Jameis Winston, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tom Brady. He was doing it before Tom Brady, and he's doing it during Tom Brady in a up and down year which it is for Mike Evans this season, a trial and error year for him and the team of the Buccaneers, he still was able to do it again. He still was able to keep the streak alive. That means he's consistent. And I know he's been dealing with hamstring injuries throughout his career, but never enough to keep him out. All right. I remember two years ago, we went on that Super Bowl run. We won the Super Bowl. Week 17, week 18, he injures his hammy. 
He comes back the next week and plays and score a couple touchdowns. Okay. Now, in last week's game, and I'm gonna pass the rock. Big plays of 63, 57, 30 yards, all Mike Evans, big plays, explosive. Okay. And other guys was able to eat off that. Wide receivers number two and three. Russell Gage, I'm engaged. He's engaged now. He's engaged now. Okay, Russell Gage and Chris Godwin, they all racked up 12 receptions for 153 yards. So when you're eating, your players are able to eat off your plate. Mike Evans, his character, his consistency is why he is the most underappreciated wide receiver in the NFL, and I'm not taking anything else. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Freddie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it? Yeah, okay, I go. Uh, yeah, I do believe that Mike Evans is the most underappreciated wide receiver. You know, prior to Brady coming to Tampa, Evans never been to the playoff. He's been to Jameis Winston as his quarterback, 30 for 30. He's been to Mike Gallon. He's been to Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, so in other words, you know, they're not giving him the respect that, you know, he truly deserves. Granted, you know, of course, you know, he has a drop issues, but I still feel like every year, ever since he got to the league, he always makes sure that he at least mark a thousand yards receiving, no matter what, no matter who's, you know, no matter who's the quarterback is. And I just felt like, you know, yeah, but the guys that the media, I would say, that would put over him, like a uh, Odell, the D Hops, of course, Jarvis Landry at one point, you know, you know, the media would put over Mike Evans, in my opinion. And I just felt like, you know, He's he's getting the recognition that he deserved now, you know, for playing for playing with the goat Brady, and you know the pro season runs and the things and the things that he do to, you know, to help you know to help the team go far into the playoff now. Yeah, because um, listen, Zay, man, three against one, bro. He is underappreciated, bro. I mean, the man is like you said, cousin. He's consistent though. And that's what we are underappreciating. You can't just highlight play or play there with a big time drop and forget about all the catches and plays that he made, right? Touchdowns that he made. The man won a championship. How many receivers can say they won a championship? Mm-hmm. He was a big part of that championship. You know what I mean? So that's really being underappreciated because there's some receivers, there's some teams, there's some cities that wish they had a receiver with a championship ring on it. He got that. That's why we play the game to win. He won. He was there. He played. He got a thousand yards, like you said, with Jamie Winston, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tom Brady. The man shows consistency. I don't mean I got to put him in the top five receivers in the game today. That don't mean I got to do that. But I could appreciate it because I think he's underappreciated. I could appreciate that that's a guy with one on my team, and that's a guy I could win with. And that's all you want a guy that you can win a championship with. There's some receivers you probably can't win a championship with. Pitting them in the same breath of Kirk Cousins? Come on, bro. Kirk Cousins? Kirk Cousins is not a guy I'm going to win a championship with. In, in any shape or form, he got the best receiver. He got one of the best running backs. I'm not winning a championship with Kirk Cousins. I can win a championship with Mike Evans. Underappreciated. Um, Zay, I got a question for you because I know you want to jump in here. If If not Mike Evans... Then who? Who is the most underappreciated wide receiver in your mind? Um, for me, I'm gonna have to say Kadeen out. Um, there's a man Ooh. who no one talks about. Uh, you said Kadeen or Keenan? Keenan. Oh, that's oh, I, okay. I thought you said I meant Keenan. I apologize. <laughs> Keenan out. Excuse me. Um, this is a guy mm-hmm. whose is probably arguably one of the best in the NFL. Um, a guy on the Chargers who gets overlooked on time to time again because of the Brandon Staley fiasco going on over there with the OC issues. Uh, Mike Williams having this little um burst of energy last season and, and having. Great yards. Austin Eckler having a solid season. Um, Garrett, um, Everett, I don't know his first name, or the tight end. Gerald Everett. Gerald Thank Everett. You. Gerald Everett. Another one. Um, you know, Allen just gets overlooked on a constant basis. Um, it's been like that for almost his entire entire career. Um, people don't look mm. at Allen as one of the top tier receivers in, in the league. They don't look at him as a as a mismatch or a guy who could really take over a game. They just overlook him and just say, you know, this guy's not that good. Just whatever. He's like a tier two receiver. You know, that's that's the the Allen. Um, I, 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 like that's the thought when people think about Allen is his tier Keenan Allen tier two receiver. Um, I, despite the injuries, this guy is, is outstanding. You know, he has martyred has a, a couple bad injuries in his career, but um, when you talk about a guy who has nine straight thousand yard seasons, um, to say he's underappreciated is kind of crazy. It's it, it's it's outlandish. You know, it, it, I feel like you can't say a guy who has a thousand yard season per year is uh, is underappreciated. You know, I think the only people that don't appreciate him are like Skip Bayless. 
<laughs> Maybe like it's like no, who's no, under? No, no. I don't understand they're, they're, who in the media you. is underappreciating Mike Evans. The thing about being underappreciated is the fact that nobody talks about this. I bet you there's some people that don't even know this is a real stat. Okay, I bet you I'm 100 percent sure that there's some people that don't even know this stat exists. No, nah, no, nah, let me get to your point. <laughs> and then um, whoever wants to take it, they can take it. I'm going to get to your point about Keenan Allen. Let's compare Keenan Allen and Mike Evans. Because I could put Keenan Allen in the underrated category in a sense. I'm not going to take that away. But we are talking about appreciation. Appreciation lies with greatness. How do you achieve greatness? Success. Okay? All those things combined when you talk about appreciation. This guy last year, Keenan Allen, he played. He was healthy last year for the most part. Had some nagging injuries. This year, he missed about seven, eight weeks this year. OK, um, two years ago, he was not playing at all. Justin Herbert's rookie year at all. OK, so how could you take that over Mike Evans, who was consistently consistently available? Oh, I said, like I said, underappreciated. I don't think Mike Evans is underappreciated. I said I feel like I, I, Mike Evans is a tad overrated because his feet is also not doing what we're seeing on the football field. He has a lot of bonehead plays that hinder the offense as well as his greatness on a year to year basis. Nine a thousand yards per season is fantastic. There should be no reason why anybody's underappreciated getting a thousand yards per season at all. I feel like that category just shouldn't make sense. If you're watching the game of football and you're a football, you know, NFL aficionado you're watching the game there's no way you can say mike evans underappreciated. Look, 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 look. i mean let me tell you why right i'm gonna give you some facts on why he's underappreciated this man only been to four pro bowls he's been in the league for over a decade only four pro bowls okay Was so he clearly healthy? They're not recognizing his talent, right? Okay, four pro bowls. Okay, number two, when was he ever known as a top five wide receiver in this league? Never. No. Go ahead. Never. Anybody want to um put the nail in the coffin? Look, the nail in the coffin is this: no disrespect to Keaton Allen, uh, do it in the playoffs and win a championship, right? And then we can talk about this cat. I'm a playoff guy. Okay, Mike Evans went through an entire playoff run and put a ring on his finger for the championship to Tampa Bay. That man is underappreciated. It's just as simple as that. How the heck I'm going to – I could underappreciate um, Keenan Allen. Do something first, okay? I When we're not talking about Mike Evans and this dude brought a championship, that's a problem. He should have been mentioned as a top five. When you win a championship, people just mention you a lot more as, yo, this is a guy I want. Nobody did that with him, and he got a title. So, I, listen, I, I hear you. But Keenan Allen, like you said, cousin, he's not even available like that. No disrespect. Like, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mike <laughs> Evans, especially this season, has disappeared a lot. You're like, he disappeared. He just <laughs> and and Keenan Allen didn't even play game. half the season. That's my whole point. Is that there's, there's reasons why people don't put him in a top five conversation. It's not like he's just underappreciated. Like no one's looking for him as a receiver. They, no one, everyone knows his talents, but something is missing all the time with this dude. Just like that, I, that's why I compare him to Kirk Cousins because Kirk Cousins, <laughs> everyone stouts, everyone talks about how good of a quarterback this guy is, but there's always something missing. Going against the Cowboys, four to three. Going against the Packers, thirty-four to three. There's always something missing with this dude. We could, we keep talking about the championship. We keep talking about he brought the championship to the Buccaneers when we forgot to mention AB was over there. Gronk had two touchdowns in that championship game, and then AB had another one. So, like, where was Mike Evans during that game? Like, did he, did he, was he, Somebody he, throw in the towel, please, because I had enough. I know my 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 dad said let him talk, but I had enough. Okay, we got to throw in the towel there, Zay. You don't got it, bro. You don't got it on this topic, bro. I don't know what you're saying right now, okay? I got to throw in the towel, bro. I, I, I do respect you.